In this tutorial, we're going to try and work out how we can search using select in SQL. But instead of just from one table, we want to search through more than one table, um, two, three or four, or however many tables we need to. So we're going to start with the same database on W3 Schools, the SQL tutorials and the try it now things. But instead of looking at just the customers, we're going to have a look at the products um, in this database and see what products this shop sells. So you'll notice you can see all the names of the weird and wonderful food things that this shop sells. And we can see the ID of a supplier who sells it um, and a category for that product. Um, and that's a number, an integer number, a whole number, rather than the name of the category or the name of the supplier. So that tells us it's most likely linking to a different table which will tell us more about the supplier or a different table that tells us more about the category. So let's take aniseed syrup. Um, and we want to try and find the category that aniseed syrup lives in. Well, that's probably going to be in the categories table, and we want to try and find the category with an ID of 2. So if we click on categories, we find where the category ID is 2. So aniseed syrup belongs to the condiments um, category. So let's say that we want to search through, write some SQL that searches through and shows all of the products, but instead of showing a number, we want to see the name of the category. Um, so this would involve some SQL that searches through multiple tables. So um, the order of the keywords in SQL is the same. It's select from um, where order by. Um, so we're going to say we want to search through the product table, but we also need to search through the categories table. Um, and because we're searching through multiple tables, we can tell SQL what fields we want to see. So we want to see everything from the product table and everything from the categories table. Um, so if we run it now, you will see that we've got hundreds of products, which isn't right. We should only see 77 products. Um, so it's a really common mistake. We haven't told um, SQL to link together the, um, the primary key. So the category ID in the products table should match up with the category ID in the category table. So let's go back and fix it. So we said select star from, we need to say where the products dot category ID, so that's this number here, matches with the categories dot category ID. So it's the ID number of the individual categories here. Now when we run it, we should only see our 77 products. We've still got the category ID, but we've now also got the category name field and a description in here. So we search from multiple tables. You can still choose which fields you want to see. So if we want to get rid of the clutter and only see the product name, the price, and the category name, we'll say um, we only want to see the product name from the products table and products.price so that we can see how much it costs. Um, and we want to see the category name from description. It becomes useful here if you try and put um, things on different lines. It just makes your SQL a bit easier to understand. Okay, so select, we want to see the product name and the price uh, and the category um, name from the category. So we should now only see the information that we want. You can add extra where clause is on. So if we only want to see the meat and poultry, um, you can say and the category name equals meat poultry. And we should only see those in that category. And the same thing goes. We can then um, order it by whichever field we want. So we could order... Oops, you don't have to use capital letters for the keywords, but it just makes it easier to spot them. Order by, um, let's order them by the product name. Um, alphabetically. Um, so we've got them in reverse order, um, starting from the bottom and going upwards. If you want them from A to Z, it'll be ascending rather than descending. Okay, so it's the same as searching from one table, the same order. We still have select from where order by, but this time we're searching through multiple tables and you can have as many tables as you want to as long as you say um, how the primary keys link together on multiple tables.
So we're saying select, we choose the fields we want to see, um, we choose which tables you want to see the results from, you show how the tables link together and any other search criteria, and you tell it if you want to um, which order you want the results to be in.